This statue of an anti-colonialist African pastor, John Choembe, who revolted against British rule in 1915, was recently placed in London's Trafalgar Square on the prominent Fourth Plinth. Well, I believe it should be taken down immediately. If our statues are being taken down and many others under review and others like the Churchill statue are being desecrated, this should definitely come down. Name one other sane country that isn't riddled with self-loathing that would erect a statue in its own capital city of a foreigner who violently revolted against them in a far-off country. This has nothing to do with diversity and inclusion. It is not enough that the statue is of a black person or a non-white person or any other minority. It had to symbolise anti-Britishness. That is why they chose this guy. There is other non-white people, including Indians and others who could be celebrated for fighting in the British Army. But that doesn't fit the anti-British agenda. I have never heard of this guy until this statue. Apparently, he led a violent revolt against the British rule in Malawi. Um, he was resisted colonialism. And I have no problem with that at all. We would do the same. We have done the same in the past, for example, with the Norman Conquest. But if they want to celebrate him and build statues, then that's fine. Go build them in Malawi. They have a national day there, the John Choembe Day on the 15th of January. Now, imagine how insane it would be if we had that national day here. And it's insane to have his statue here in London. As you can see in these scenes of deranged tribal frenzy, they pulled the Colston statue down in Bristol because he was a slave trader. Even though he was also a philanthropist. But if his bad deeds cancel out his good deeds, then he should be replaced by a British person who did only good. Even though that will be difficult because most people are a mixture of good and bad. And these people are forever expanding what passes as bad to deliberately leave fewer and fewer British people left to revere. Now, John Choembe does not represent greatness in the name of Britain and his statue should come down. He did nothing in the interests of Britain. It's as simple as that. Plinths in Britain should be reserved for heroes of Britain. Now, we are sitting by and letting these people wage war on our culture and history with the clear intention of destroying it and replacing it. They are literally tearing down all our British heroes of the past and replacing them with their own anti-British ones. I mentioned this statue today to someone close to me who is not white, by the way, and she looked at me with a perplexed expression and said, why has that statue been put up in Britain? To which I replied, it is a way to express their anti-British hatred for all to see, a way to laugh in our faces by putting the statue up in our capital city. And this is just another way to attack Britain and decolonize everything. In other words, tear down all things British so there is no trace of our history and culture left. That way, history can begin with a clean slate with the start of their movement, just like in Mao's China, Stalin's Soviet Union and North Korea today. What makes it worse is this movement has infected society all the way to the top, to the point that the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, is sanctioning this destruction pledging to review all other problematic statues and street names, etc., with apparent links to our colonial history. We are literally watching a cultural revolution take place before our very eyes. And this insidious movement will do more irreparable damage if it is not stopped soon.